Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my fourth and probably final Halloween look this year. There just isn't that many days left between now and Halloween and I don't know if I can adequately film another one and edit it in time. So let's just say this is my last this year. I know all of my other looks have been quite involved this year, so I wanted for this one to be something perfect for like last minute. It's meant for you to be able to do this with makeup that you already have in your collection so that you don't have to go out and buy anything. I'm going to be trying like a cyborg type makeup look. The nice thing about this kind of makeup look is that you can really like, after the first lines go on, you can stop at any step and it will still be a fairly good Halloween look. Throughout this video too, I will be offering suggestions as to like what you could use if you don't have the exact thing that I'm using. I know that can be a little bit hard when you're following a tutorial and you just like don't have that one thing. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna go ahead and just pat foundation everywhere, like on my face, on my neck, on my shoulders, wherever you want to do this look. Usually I don't like to use my full coverage foundation as true full coverage, I like to spread it out, but for this particular look, I'm just gonna let it be full coverage. I want it to be very smooth, very even in color, so I'm using like an adequate amount of foundation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just set this all. Because this is like a cyborg look, I don't want there to be like weird patches of shininess or texture. So I'm kind of just doing everything I can to make sure that this all looks very smooth, very even as a canvas. And then I'm just going to rake through my brows real quick with like a brow gel. I'm not paying too much attention to it. For the crevices in between the panel. So here you want to just start creating like black lines that looks like where the panels meet, where it's like crevices. I'm using a water activated liner. I find that this is the easiest medium to work with for me, but you can use anything like an eyeliner, a brush tip, felt tip eyeliner, a gel eyeliner, um, even like a pencil, like coal eyeliner. Anything that's like black, I think would work really well. If you are worried about symmetry or uh, drawing straight lines, I tend to dot where I want to be and then like connect the dots. That really helps me make sure that it's symmetrical or that it's straight and that the lines are exactly where I want it to be. But if you're worried about being able to do symmetrical or straight lines, you can totally just draw these lines however you want asymmetrically. I feel like robots don't have to have symmetrical panels, so you can just own it and do whatever you want with it. Where the crevices meet, I like to go back and just round out these corners because then it makes the panels look like they have round corners. But this is also optional because you can just leave it and have the panels have square corners as well, like sharper corners. Um, so this is just like something that I wanted to do. And then I'm just going to bring this down um, through my chest and my neck as well. Next, I'm going to take a lighter shade concealer and I'm going to go ahead and highlight the edges of these panels because this will help pop the panels out against like the black crevices between the panels. And you just want to make sure you blend it out really good with a clean brush. I'm not going to go and outline everything around the black crevices, just like some parts where I want it to be highlighted. So I wouldn't worry too much about it, but you definitely want to make sure you blend it out really well so it doesn't look too choppy. And then I'm going to take a, this is like a dark purple brown eyeshadow shade, and I'm going to start putting that on my panels just kind of outside of where I was doing the highlighting. This just helps further make sure that like the edges of the panels are sticking out but honestly I think that was pretty optional it didn't add a ton to the look next I want to work on the rivets or screws or nails or whatever you want to call it that's holding the panels together the easiest way to do it is to take the opposite end of your brush and just dot these on this helps make it very symmetrical and like the dots are all the same size this is this step is a little bit harder if you are using like a brush or a felt tip eyeliner just because those dot, dots aren't very big but if you have like a gel eyeliner you can still use this method and I think it looks really good next to be adding a little bit more detail I'm just going to add like little serial number like letter and numbers I think if you're worried about like having it be you know not backwards in a mirror like numbers letters are hard you can always do like a barcode as well and you can put this anywhere you want I just chose to put it here um, on my chest and then for yet another detail I'm gonna go ahead and add um, crevices and panels to my hand and my arm just to add a little bit of something to the look 
And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this look by finishing up my lips. Because this is a water activated liner and I didn't want to accidentally eat it, I'm doing this part last and applying some gloss. And then the very last thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop in some bright blue contacts. Okay, so that is it for my tutorial today for this little cyborg robot -y makeup look. If you're in a hurry or if you didn't want to get that detail, you could have just definitely drew on the lines, dotted the rivets, and called it good. I feel like that would have still been a very good Halloween makeup look. I just wanted to keep adding details so that you would have the option to sort of mix and match different features if you wanted to. I hope you have enjoyed this video and also my three other Halloween looks for this year. I really wanted to work hard this Halloween and push myself out of my comfort zone, but also still give you a variety of looks you could recreate. For the most part, I'll be returning back to my usual content of like reviews, swatches, tutorials here and there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great Halloween. I will see you next time. Bye!